So in case you were wondering, I did end up wiring these side lights here to my parking lights. So they actually stay on now with the parking lights while I'm driving, as opposed to shutting off after a few seconds or whenever you start the car like they did before. Hey guys, you know, so a question that comes up every now and then is if it's better to get a three quarter ton, one ton dually F450, anything in that range of light duty pickup truck to haul a fifth wheel versus a medium duty or even a class eight semi tractor to haul your fifth wheel. This is a very, very interesting topic because it really depends on a number of different factors. First, how often are you hauling your fifth wheel, right? The number one thing you need to determine before wondering if you need a semi truck essentially or a medium duty truck to haul your fifth wheel is how often you're gonna be doing it. Do you really want to drive around a medium duty upsized truck when you're not hauling your fifth wheel or when you disconnect at the campground unless you're gonna be hauling around some type of a car with you as well? Maybe you have a toy hauler and you have a Fiat in the back or something, and that might be the reason why you want to get a medium duty truck, because once you park at the RV ground, you got a Fiat that you can drive around. You know, there's all sorts of different scenarios that could play out as to why you may be able to get a medium duty upsized truck and not have too many problems. Well, the other one too is, is that, yes, these heavy duty pickup trucks, still light duty vehicles, are significantly higher in price than they've ever been. That being said, you get a significant number of features in these trucks that you're just not going to find on any medium duty upsized truck. The navigation system is going to be far more advanced. A lot of the comfort features are going to be more advanced and it's going to be a better vehicle for driving around while you're not towing a fifth wheel. Now medium duty trucks offer a few benefits. One, it's a heavier vehicle, and when you're towing a fifth wheel, having that heavier vehicle along with larger brakes, in most cases air brakes, are going to help you tow and even stop it a bit safer. I would argue to say that light duty pickup trucks have come along so far that you really don't need that significantly increased towing and stopping power of a class four and up truck. If you are considering getting a medium duty or higher truck to tow a fifth wheel, just keep in mind that the cost of maintaining that truck is going to be far, far more expensive than a pickup truck. First of all, you're less likely to drive it on the roads when you're not towing as much as a pickup truck. So it's going to be sitting and you're still gonna to have to do maintenance. You're still gonna to have to make sure that rodents and other things don't get into the system when it's sitting there. And you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have fresh diesel exhaust fluid in it, as well as maintain other components. Also, you're more likely to get pulled over just for random checks. Even though in most states you can use a semi-tractor to tow a fifth wheel without any special permitting or without any special license, oftentimes, the troopers and the highway patrol may not have that information and they could pull you over just because they want to check. And that could be a hassle just considering how many times you might get pulled over for say passing a way station. And the officer just doesn't realize that you can legally pass a way station. Other things that you have to keep in mind are the cost of maintaining the vehicle, such as tires. Most of your medium duty up trucks are gonna run 22 and a half or in some cases 24 and a half inch wheels and you're gonna to have to buy a much larger tire for that vehicle. The tires are generally gonna cost in the area of between $400 and $600 per tire for a name brand tire, in some cases even more than that. It's also gonna be a tire that's much more difficult for you to service if you do have a blowout or a flat while you're driving. These tires can weigh upwards of 150 to 200 pounds just for the tire itself. So imagine trying to change a wheel tire assembly on a 10 lug, 22 and a half inch wheel if you have a flat or a blowout. Also, you're gonna be much more limited when it comes to cab configurations that are readily available. 
In most cases, you'll be able to find a medium duty or a class eight truck with a sleeper cab in the back, but not all cases. And in some cases, they make medium duty trucks actually in a quad cab or a crew cab version, which will give you many of the same pickup truck characteristics you might be used to in a crew cab or quad cab pickup truck. Keep in mind that your step up to get into the truck is gonna be significantly higher. You're generally gonna to have to step up roughly four feet to get into the cab of the truck. Yes, you're gonna have steps and a little bit of a stair system, but if you have problems climbing up into a truck that tall, you definitely want to avoid getting a truck that big. Now, a lot of folks will say the benefit is that you can get a nice used rig at less than half the price of these newer dually trucks from Ford, Chevy, and Ram. Yes, there are many cases where you can find an international or a Volvo truck on the used market in that $30,000 price range. It's likely to have over half a million miles on it, but in many cases, these engines last significantly longer than their pickup truck counterparts. Most of the time, they can last into the millions, two million, two and a half million miles. Typically, a fleet will retire a truck when it hits about a million to a million and a half miles, and that's when it will go on the for sale block. One thing to keep in mind is even though the engines can last millions of miles, the components attached to the engine, similar to a light duty truck, will often be the part that fails first, whether it's a steering pump, whether it's a alternator, or another part or component in the truck, a radiator, that could still go out. And the parts for larger trucks are more expensive, in many cases far more expensive. So you do want to keep that in mind because if a part breaks, even though it may last longer than a pickup truck, it's going to cost you significantly more to replace. Other things to keep in mind, you can't get your tires or even oil changes done at the same place as you might get them done now. Oil changes on large trucks generally are going to require far, far more oil than you would see on even your largest F450 pickup trucks or 3500 series pickup trucks. So a simple oil change can end up costing you significantly more. Plus there's other components to commercial diesel engines that need to be monitored and maintained and can be very expensive while maintaining them. In terms of tires, going to a discount tire is gonna be out of the question. Discount tire will not service or even air up a 19.5 inch and greater rim. So even my F450, I can't take it to discount tire to get any services done on it. I have to go to a commercial truck shop and they're gonna charge you far more for something very simple that you may have gotten for free from discount tire or your local tire shop. Don't expect to have the same selection of tires or the same selection of aftermarket accessories that might be convenience features. Also, washing the truck and having it clean. You'll only be able to take it through truck washes now, whereas you can get a three quarter ton or a one ton single rear wheel truck and take it through a standard automated car wash. Even taking it to a manual car wash, in many cases you won't be able to do that it can just be too big. Many of your international trucks and your medium duty trucks that are used for commercial towing, such as your Budweiser trucks that are towing those around or your Pepsi truck, where they have the refrigerated units in the back and you see them restocking your local gas stations, those are generally gonna be your class six and seven series trucks. Your class eight trucks are gonna be these big semi trucks or the tractors, your OTR over the road trucks. And I've seen people use both to tow large fifth wheels and even in some cases, smaller fifth wheels. Even though the braking power on these semi-trucks is designed to stop larger, heavier loads, you have to keep in mind that you are also driving a vehicle that weighs three or four times more in some cases than a pickup truck. So stopping the vehicle in general is gonna be more troublesome. It's gonna take a much longer distance to stop a medium or heavy duty truck versus any class three and below pickup truck, whether it's a dually or not. So for instance, if I hook my fifth wheel up to the back of my F450, I'll actually be able to stop it in a shorter distance than a semi truck hauling my exact same fifth wheel, mainly because my truck weighs about 9,000 pounds. A semi truck can weigh upwards of 25,000 pounds. One thing to really keep in mind is the width of the vehicle. When you move to these larger trucks, they're generally gonna have an eight foot width all the way across. 
So whereas the front of the truck is going to be eight feet wide, the back of the truck will also be eight feet wide. And that can make for a very large vehicle to drive around. Again, going back to that point, especially when you're not towing your fifth wheel. So when we travel, we don't carry a, an extra tow vehicle around with us. We haul our fifth wheel with our truck. Last thing we want to do is try to figure out where we can fit a large tractor when we are going to restaurants, when we are going shopping, when we're going out and about. The F-450 is wide enough in the back being a dually, but how much more difficult would it be pulling into parking spots with a tractor, a medium duty truck, or a class eight vehicle? It just doesn't make sense practically. You know, so the point of this video isn't to discourage anybody whose dream is to own a semi-tractor to pull a fifth wheel. If you wanna do that, do it. What I'm trying to do here is just let you know the reasons why most people that pull fifth wheels don't have class four, five, six, seven, or eight vehicles to do it. We're usually gonna do it with a dually because the practicality of owning a single rear wheel truck or a dually and driving it around every day while you're not towing is far, far more appealing than how the heck we're gonna fit a semi-tractor everywhere we go. Another thing to think about is that your cost of insurance can go through the roof simply because of the size and weight of the vehicle you're driving. One thing to think about is that the cost to insure a medium or heavy duty truck can be far greater than that of a pickup truck. Mainly because if you get involved in an accident in a semi-tractor, the likelihood of you injuring or killing somebody else is much, much greater. So you really want to be cautious as to what your reasons are behind looking for a truck that big to tow a fifth wheel. Because if it's not needed, I would say don't get one for that purpose. One final thing to keep in mind is that with a semi-tractor, you're often not going to have it in an automatic. Some of the medium duty trucks are going to come in automatic, but it's very rare that you're actually going to see a class eight tractor come in automatic. And that could really limit the ability for, you know, your spouse maybe to drive it or anybody other than the primary driver to drive it in the case of an emergency. And the last thing you want is to be caught in a situation where you're having some type of a medical condition and the person with you can't drive the vehicle. Anyways, I hope this video has been informative. I hope it's given you a little bit of information or just food for thought that you may not have thought about in the past. If you like my video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.